Hello, and welcome to Viral Watchlist. We bring you the best of wealth creation from the substantially growing crypto world. Today, we are going to review the next play to earn NFT game that has perfectly amalgamated the new age tech with the old school gameplay. So, without killing the excitement, let's start the video. This new game is built with a realistic economy and military mechanics. This brand new game is called Mine Barons. It is a next gen play to earn NFT game where players craft, rule, and earn. You will have to protect your lands, capture others, build, manage, play, and earn. All property in the game is NFT and can be sold for real money. The game is based on the Polygon blockchain and playable from any browser. There is no need to download apps. It's easy enough to create an account on the project website by connecting your MetaMask wallet. The limited lands number leads to the fact that it will be more and more difficult and profitable to occupy the land and become a baron in the future. Updates and development of the game mechanics will constantly increase the possibilities and significance of the barons, and their lands will become more and more valuable. As we go through the website, we get more hints to the gameplay and its features. All resources that are needed for construction, maintenance, and war are produced by the players and can be sold for real money. Farms and fields provide food for all activities in the game. Workers, builders, animals, and armies all need food. So, the farmer will never be out of work. You will have to mine iron and stones to build castles and powerful weapons. Mines are the main source of resources for a strong army. You need to raise animals on farms to provide armies with horses and food. Strong armies need cavalry units, and their maintenance requires large supplies of food. Farm products are always in demand in the market. Your objective is to collect cards, craft them, and sell them. Create NFT of various buildings and troops, place them on the lands to get a regular income, or sell them on the market. Win battles and capture fortresses. You will get victory income, resources, and taxes from the conquered lands. Also, you get a ransom or hold and manage conquered lands as you decide. The central element of the game is the factor of a limited number of lands that any players can own and manage, generating income and attacking other players and other lands. In order to protect themselves, ordinary players either need to become the owner of the land, the baron, and protect it by force, or go to the lands of one of the barons under his protection, paying him taxes. The baron can set a tax for each land he owned. The tax varies between 1% and 20%. It is written off and goes to the Baron's treasury when the players withdraw some resources to their wallets. The Baron can charge the tax once a week. To withdraw the land NFT from the game, the Baron pays tax in gold. After the withdrawal of the land NFT from the game, the tax for farmers on it becomes 0%. The game has really crazy features, like the world map where the player randomly settles one of the lands all over the continents. On the map section, players can see all the lands with their mining stats, defense power, and more. The game provides the ability to view events where players see when and how many resources were mined, and barons can see who attacked them and when it was. You get an exclusive chat room. There are plenty of airdrops and events happening in there seems like a very high quality project by a capable developers team after looking at the white paper. This marvelous project has a staggering roadmap ahead. We are already in the second quarter of 2022. Till now, they have completed many milestones as a project. From here on, they plan to launch the game demo with a launch extensive marketing campaign in the second quarter itself. The staking feature is on the way. The private token sale and airdrop are coming too. So be ready. The third quarter will be the biggest. The public sale will be live with a second wave marketing campaign. More lands and mines will be added to the game and more airdrops for the players. And finally, the full game will be launched this quarter. More intricate features will be added in the fourth quarter while the marketing campaign will still continue. The important features like PVP battle enhancements, guilds, alliances, and DAO governance will be applied in next year's edition. You will also see new graphics in the game with newer resources in the coming year. Thanks for being with me. It's announcement time finally. Participate in the Gleam event and win great guaranteed prizes. Absolutely everyone who completes all the tasks 
will receive a guaranteed drop of game resources depending on the points you have scored. So what are you waiting for? Go and complete the simple tasks and get 220 entries in absolutely no time. Top 500 inviters receive a guaranteed spot on the whitelist. Top 10 inviters will receive mint pass for free. The type of mint pass depends on your position. 20 randomly selected participants who complete all the tasks will receive a farm pack for free. Just complete the simple tasks like following on Twitter, Telegram, and Discord and get a great reward for yourself. Mint passes are available on the OpenSea Marketplace. Sales dates will be announced soon. Each mint pass is a multifunctional NFT card, which will be needed not only for a guaranteed purchase at the presale at the lowest price, but also for obtaining additional benefits from the project and in the game. These cards will always be relevant and valuable, giving unique features to the owner that are not available to other players. The prices for mint passes are calculated so that their purchase is profitable even compared to the purchase on the whitelist round. More valuable mint passes are more profitable. And guess what I already told you? You can win 10 such mint passes in the event. Pay attention to power orbs. This is a unique secret booster that will be very useful for both the farmer and the miner and the baron. The details of this card will be revealed after the full sale of the entire collection or before the start of the game. Hurry up to buy before the announcement. After it might not stay. The total amount of NFTs for the sale is limited. The public sale will take place only if all NFTs are not sold out in earlier rounds. The mint pass sale will be held for several days in limited parts so that everyone will have a chance to buy. The sale of power orbs will continue until they are fully sold out. There are lots of benefits for the mint passes, so get them now. So that is it for the video. Have a good time. Join the Mind Barons community. Remember to follow all their social media platforms to get the latest updates. As always, the links are in the description. Like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.